brothers and sisters, welcome, men and women of God, all our friends, we just want to welcome you and appreciate you uh, and trust that you had a wonderful and wonderful time and we bless God in a season like this. We had a wonderful time with Pastor Joy Lynn on Joy Comes in the Morning and talking about faith and uh, we bless God for that, we glorify God for that. And friends, I just want us uh, to, to remind each other of the, of the theme peace in the midst of the storm you know um I, I must i must thank god because you know this theme i've realized that uh, this is the word that men and women of god are sharing around which says to us that uh, it's not just a, a thumb it was not just a thumb suck but the spirit of the lord is impressing something upon the church and upon his people when he talks about peace in the midst of the storm so that we do not lose our ground and the most so to know that uh, in the midst of that storm we are not alone but the lord our god is with us the lord jesus christ is right in the boat and this time around i just want to share with us a word that is also building upon there to bring courage and to bring strength in a time like this you know one thing that uh, it's very important or very true is that uh, when you are fighting a battle sometimes you think you're going to quickly overcome it and when it prolongs it, it works on you psychologically it works on you in many different ways and i've had quite a number of people uh, being so concerned in different sectors and uh, some saying we thought maybe it will just be a month you know you can feel that people are feeling the pinch because the battle is rather uh, fierce and continuing it's like when we start running a race and you're not aware of how long the race is not is going to take and you take off like you're running a hundred meter and the next thing you realize uh, we go for 200 meters and the next thing we, we uh, it's another mid, uh, 100 meter and another 100 meter what then eats you up is not really the running but is you become anxious because you don't see and you don't know exactly where you are headed to and how far it is you know when we have our brothers and sisters running the comrades you know they know that they have to do that 42 case they have to, to to really dash that one so even when they take off you know they take off knowing that i need all the stamina to go all the way and those who are running for the third second fourth time you know they even know that there is that uphill there is that downhill and all that you know their preparation and their take off has all that in mind but i can imagine if i've never taken it you know when i take off i take off not really knowing the ups and downs but of course having prepared so when you come to those places where you thought man i should now uh, be, be 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 at the at the winning point and you realize hey i still have maybe it's only 20 k's you know i still have another 22 k's so or so to go then you know it start working on you psychologically and even physically so friends and family just want to encourage us through a psalm of david it is psalm number 18 it's a psalm that uh, was stuck in my heart for many many years since the lord opened it to me and i received it this psalm number 18 we're reading from verse 1 up to verse number 10 but we'll stop here and there but what i love the most is the takeoff of this psalm because it says I will love thee, O Lord. And then it goes on to say, my strength. And it goes on to say, the Lord is my rock. The Lord is my fortress. He is my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I trust, my battle, my horn of salvation, the, the Lord, my high tower. You see, when he takes off, he takes off by uh, bringing something that I trust. It's very much important for us because the battle that we are engaged in family is not a physical battle but this is a spiritual battle there's something in the spirit that is forming and there's something that we have to deal with now we can only deal or we can only fight spiritual battle not with physical means but we can fight spiritual battle with spiritual mean, means that is we need spiritual empowerment we need to be empowered by the spirit and here in this case by the spirit of god that is why he says i will love thee O oh my lord my strength the lord is my rock the lord is my fortress he is my deliverer my god my strength in whom i trust my butler the horn of my salvation and my high tower you see the, the, he declares all these things he, he he gives us his clear personal relationship 
with God. You see, when you say my God, when you say my strength, when you say my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, that's a clear personal relationship with the Almighty God. And I want to say to us, family, in times like this, in seasons like this, that is one thing that I would encourage us to find ourselves deepening. That is your clear personal relationship with God. And that is what will strengthen you. That's what will carry you. That's what will, that's what will help you in a time and in a season like this. Saying the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my rock. The Lord is my fortress. The Lord is my deliverer. The Lord is my strength. The horn of my salvation is my trust. You know, is my shield. Is my butler. Is my everything. That's personal, clear relationship. That is why in a time like this, friends, uh, while it's it's normal, like Pastor Jolene said the other day, that you know you know what you cannot wake up in the morning and just start joking. I must be honest with us. The days ahead are unpredictable. We don't know what lies before us, but the Lord knows all the days. He knows what is going to happen in day what what. He's not. He knows what is going to happen in day so and so. While our scientists and everybody are thumb sucking and not knowing exactly, but the Lord our God knows. So it is very much important for you and I to find our strength not in us, to find our courage not in ourselves, to find our strength not in our personal strength, but even when we are shaken, even when things seem unpredictable, we must find our strength, we must find our, our hold in the Almighty God. It, was, it goes on to say, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. This, uh, this David singing this psalm, and I must maybe tell you that this psalm, this psalm he sings it um, and uh, 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 after the Lord God Almighty had protected him from all his enemies and has delivered him from even Saul who was his arch enemy. You know, now he could not help it but sing by the Spirit of the Lord. He goes on to say like uh, I was reading, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. I love David because David tells it as it is. He says, you know, the sorrows of death compassed me. That is to say, I smelt death all around me. It was so fierce. It was so bad. And I must be honest, when you are diagnosed or when you are said to be uh, 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 COVID-19 positive, you know what? It's, it's like the, 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 the fear of death compasses you. It's like the flood of, of death compasses you because we talk of isolation. We talk of uh, 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 being uh, set aside or put aside, you know, a quarantined, whether it's, uh, it's, it's self-quarantined or it's forced or whatever. But we're talking about you being alone. And in that state of mind, like, you know, we know and, uh, and there are reports that there are people who psychologically are not making it. Psychologically, it is too hard for them, you know, staying at home, looking at the four walls. Some people, they, you, you know, it, it, it takes a toll on them. But you know what? That's why David here, he says, uh, uh, my enemies were too strong for me because the sorrows of death, they compassed me. And the flood of ungodly men, they were, they were all over me. They made me afraid. And I must say, um, maybe uh, uh, something that you, you don't expect me to say. I must say, it's okay to be afraid. You know, it's okay to be afraid. The only thing is that don't let fear immobilize you or don't let fear take you off the ground. But, you know, it's okay to be afraid. But that says to you, you know what? I don't depend in myself. I need, I need the Lord, you know. It is in my fear. That's why David says, I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Because the sorrows of death, they compassed me. And the floods of ungodly men, uh, you know, they made me afraid. That's what David is saying. They made me afraid. They made me afraid. They shook me. But even when things are like that, listen to what he says. He go, goes on to say, The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snare of death prevented me. In my distress, that's verse number six. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. I cried unto, unto my God. He heard me, or he heard my voice out of his temple. And my cry came before him, even into his ears. I love David because he says, In my distress, 
in my extreme anxiety, in my sorrow, in my pain, I called upon the Lord. You know, I called upon the Lord. So all these things, you know, it's, it's, it's normal to be shaken. It's normal to feel that I don't know what exactly all these things are bringing. And it's true, even as a child of God, you don't know it all. That is why our Lord Jesus Christ will always say to his, 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 his disciples, uh, don't be afraid. Peace, be still. You know, why? Because things around us, storms around us, as they rage, they, are uns they unsettle us, they shake us. And I want you to know, child of God, when you feel shaken, when you feel scared, you are not weak, but it is because you don't know exactly what is good. But I'm saying, even when uh, the sorrows of hell compass you about, even when the snares of death try to prevent you, in your distress, in your extreme anxiety, in your sorrow, and in your pain, call upon the name of the Lord. He said, I cried out unto my God. Mm. And the Lord had me, you know, from his temple. And that's the beauty of it. When we call upon the Lord, that's why he said, I think it's, it, uh, it's is it in Psalm 150, where he says, call unto the Lord in the day of trouble. You know, be able to call in your day of trouble. Be able to call in your time of fear, in your time of distress. Call upon the name of the Lord. Don't say, you know what, uh, why am I afraid? Maybe I don't have, uh, no, call. I love what Pastor Jalen what he shared about when it comes to uh, the just shall live by faith talking about Bartimaeus you know this guy he called talking about the, 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 the blind the blind guys they called and I say the Lord says call unto me in the day of trouble and I will answer you so he says here David in my distress I called upon the Lord and I cried out unto my God and he heard my voice out of his temple praise the Lord and my cry came before him and into his ears and he continues on to say then the earth shook you see when the lord hears your cry when the lord hears your prayers when you call upon the lord i want you to know that it won't just be like that when you're calling upon the lord you're not calling in vain when you pray to the lord your god you're not just calling in vain it is not just a a futile exercise no the lord our god is alive the Lord our God is awesome. The Lord our God hears prayers and he hears the calls of his children. Then the earth shook and trembled. He says, when God heard my prayers, when God heard my cry, the, the Bible says, or David says, the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills were moved and shaken because he was wroth. That is because the Lord was angry. Praise the Lord. I want you to know, church of the living God, when the devil, as the Bible says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard. I want you to know that we are not alone in this battle. We are not like drowning and trying to survive. No, we have the Lord, our God, who is great, who is awesome, who is the creator of heaven and earth, who has the whole world in his hand, who cannot be stopped by anything. That is our Father. That is our God. It's, it says here, the foundations also, the hills were moved or uh, were moved and shaken because he was wroth, because he was angry. There went up smoke out of his nostrils. You know, when he breathes, smoke went out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth, devoured coals were kindled by it. You know, fire came out of his mouth. I want you to know, while the Lord, our God, uh, and while our Lord Jesus Christ presented himself as a lamb, as if it was slain, I want you to know that he's also a mighty man of war. We serve a mighty God. We serve a God who knows the plans of the enemy. We serve a God who knows the devices of the evil one. And I'm saying to us, family, our strength shall not come from ourselves. That is why the Apostle Paul says, finally, brethren, be strong, not in yourself. Be strong, not in your thinking or not in your doings, but be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might and put on the whole armor of God. And guess what? When you put on the whole armor of God, that is to say, now the battle is not yours, but it is the Lord's and victory will be yours. That is why the word of God says, we are more than conquerors. Why? Because he has conquered, but you and I must be able to call. Don't act like everything's okay. Don't act like you're strong while you know deep inside I'm shaken. Call upon the Lord like David says. He bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet and he rode upon the cherub and did fly. Yeah, 
He did fly upon the wings, uh, upon the, 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 the wings of the wind. And that is the Lord our God. Beloved, I want you to know when we call upon him, while we don't see with our eyes, while we cannot see what is happening, but I want you to know that Almighty God, a mighty man of war, he moves on behalf of those who love him. That is why the word of God says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The rushes can run into it and they are safe. Verse number six, remember it says, in my distress, uh, which is my extreme anxiety, my sorrow and my, my pain, I called upon the Lord. I cry out to the Lord my God and he heard my voice. And I'm saying to us church, I'm saying to us body of Christ, I'm saying to you my brothers and sisters, that the Lord our God hears our voices, he is our prayers, he is our cry from his temple, and it comes, it never escapes him, it never escapes his attention. And I want you to know, even as we always say, he may not come when we want him, but he is always on time. The Lord our God, he knows the right time. You know, when Peter was walking on the or on water and um, began to sink because of fear, you know what? He was right there. He could not sink an inch when he cried out and said, Master, help me because I sink. He was there and he helped him. Now, let us look at verse number 18 now. Verse number, number 14. In verse number 14, it says, Yeah, he sent out his arrows. That is the Lord now fighting. Uh, brothers and sisters, never think when Jesus gave himself to those who persecuted him or to those who crucified him. Never think... It, 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 there was nothing he could do. You remember what he said to Peter? He said, put back your sword. This battle, we don't fight it that, that way. If I had to do that, I'll call a legion of angels and they'll come and fight. You know, but he gave himself. That is why he said, my life, no one takes it from me, but I lay it down. I just lay my life down. But I want you to know that God is a mighty man of war. I want you to know that he is a great Jehovah, the Lord, our God, our refuge and our fortress. And verse number 14 says, yeah, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, scattered them who my enemies. And he shot out lightnings and discom discomfited them. Then the channels of the waters were seen. That is when the anger of the Lord, when the, the, the Lord our God fights, you know, even the, ch the, the channels of the waters are seen. That is to say, where the, the seas have covered, the, 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 the foundation of the sea is exposed. And the foundations of the world were, dis were discovered at his rebuke, my God. O oh Lord, at the blast of thy breath, of thy nostrils. You know what? When the Lord thunders, when the Lord blows, even the foundations of the earth are exposed. He sent from heaven and he took me by, he took me and drew me out of the many waters. You see now, that is all that what he's doing. He's doing it for his own. He's doing it for his servant, David. He says, he took me and drew me out of many waters. Friends, that is why we, uh, uh, Isaiah says, even when we go through the waters, will not drown. Because he's able to take us out of the waters. But you must mark that, that, you know, we will get into the waters. We will get into the fires. You know, uh, that, that, uh, that is no question. As we go through all these things, but the Lord, our God, is able to take us. He's able to rescue us. He's able to take us out. Verse number 17 then says, he delivered me from my strong enemy. My God, you know, I, I want you to know, friends, we're not dealing with weak enemies. We're dealing with strong enemies. So it's not about the strength of the enemy that, okay, the strength of the, my enemy, it's weak. Then I'll overcome. No, he says he delivered me. He drew me out of waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. Wow. David is saying it as it is. He says, for they were too strong for me. Friends, this battle is too strong for you. It's too strong for me. But you know what? We are not fighting a fleshly battle. It is not by power. It is not by might that we're conquering. But it is by the spirit of Almighty God. You know, 
we, 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 we're standing behind the Almighty God. We're standing behind His power. That is our trust. You know, when we talk with confidence, when we talk with boldness, it is, it's, not because, it's not because we are bold and we are strong, natural, or in ourselves. No, that is why you look at Peter, who was timid, who betrayed the Lord Jesus Christ three times before the cock cruise. You, you know what? But when the Spirit of the Lord God Almighty came upon him, he was as bold as a lion. And he said to those that were fighting, that were beating them up, that were saying they should not speak in the name of Jesus Christ. He told them straight at their faces and said, what you judge for yourself, whether we have to obey you or God Almighty. And they were shocked. And they were, they were shocked that this guy whom we know is unlearned, whom we know he was fearfully betrayed the same Jesus, but he was bold. Why? Because the Spirit of the Lord was upon him. Beloved, I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will overshadow you. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will cover you. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will strengthen you in a time like this and in a season like this for you to know that it is not about your strength. It is not about your confidence. It is not about your might, but it is about the Lord your God in whom you trust. The Lord your God in whom you stand. And that is the message I'm bringing to you tonight. And it says, they prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. The Lord was my stay. The Lord was my stay. You know, uh, uh, you know, and how we take a kamutu, mutatama usala wella fast. Look at this second tela lam sabili. Come on, it is second tela ibano. Come on, it is second tela di nuntu. Come on, it is second tela di maltaina. Come on, we need Carlo Silo listening, cost listening at second tela kaisona. Singer kina mati. But we need to chine. But we need to chine. But we need to chine. As Konu Yim, but you know what? Hitching the Japinga Chorridi, Riditikanga Muzimu Ramanda Ote, Riditikanga Murena Jeso Bane, Abashanduki. You know, we stay, he becomes our stay. The Lord becomes our stay. Now, that, that, that's exactly what we're looking at in a time like this. That's what I encourage you in a time like this. Don't stay yourself on any other things. Let us stay ourselves in the Lord our God. He is reliable. He, you know, he's, when we're dealing with this condition, when we're dealing with vi this virus, you know, look at uh, how wicked it is. You, you know, once you're tested positive, you must be taken away or you must be away from your family. Even if it's a, a, a self-quarantine in your very own house, you know, you must be in a place where you're not interacting with the whole family. Maybe uh, for about 14 days and you're tested. And if you're still positive, you must still be quarantined. You must still be separated. You know what? This... Uh, 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 virus has got a devil um, uh, element in it to put you in a corner on a solitary confinement so that it touches your mind, it touches your heart, it buffets you. But I want you to know, friends, that the Lord, your God, said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. That is why, as a man, stay yourself by the Lord. As a woman, stay yourself by the Lord. As a son, as a daughter, this secretary scream, stay yourself by the Lord. So that even when a time comes where you have to be alone, you will know I am not alone. The Lord my God is with me. You know, uh, like the 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 the, the psalmist who sang Khati Jesu ne ampon haki lajal. You know, he's the one who's able to comfort. He's the one who's able to strengthen. So that in your distress, so that in your extreme anxiety, so that in your sorrow, so that in your pain, you are able to stand and you are able to move forward. You are able to forge forward. I'm saying to us, friends, it is the time that we deepen our personal, clear relationship with God in times like this. Even as we pray, you know, like... Um, like a, a prophet Jeremiah said, I think Pastor Jolene shared about this, you know, like prophet Jeremiah said, when the other prophets were lying and saying, we're coming out of this, we're coming soon, we're coming soon, uh, we're coming out soon. And the prophet of God said, no, don't listen to them lies. 
Instead, please settle down, stay there, build houses, marry, give your children into marriage. That was to say, you know what? You are going to be in this thing for a longer time. And I don't know, friends, how long we're going to be in this battle. But I'm saying our trust is in the Lord, our God. Our hope is in the Lord, our God. And I'm saying in the meantime and in the process, deepen your roots in him. Deepen your relationship with him. You know, we don't know how the battle is going to be like tomorrow. So please don't relax. It's not time for jokes. It's not time just to relax. No, it's not even just time for, 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 for just being at home. But it's time for us to be making sure that we're deepening our clear personal relationship with the Lord. Friends, even those of you who are not born again, it is time for you to say, let me seek the Lord while he can be found. Let me, because if you become, if you happen to be positive and you're taken away, with what, with whom are you going to be? But it is only when you know, I am not alone. The Lord, my God, is with me. The Lord is my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place, the Bible says. And that's what David says. He says, in all these things, as he fights for me, he brought me into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. And I want you to know that the Lord will bring us into a large place. The Lord will bring us into a different place. There is a place that the Lord has for us. And when the Lord brings, brings us there, and when the Lord delivers us, he, he will do so as he delights in us. And remember, family, remember that you and I did not save ourselves. Remember that he saved us by his grace. He laid down his life for us. He died on the cross of Calvary for us. He sacrificed for us. And all we can do is to make sure that we hold on to him. The Lord is our refuge. The Lord is our fortress. The Lord is our hiding place. The Lord is our stay. The Lord is our shield. He's our butler. He's the horn of our salvation. He is our high tower. And I'm encouraging you, family, that please, in times like this, and again, one thing that is also very true, we've had quite a number of our, 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 our fellow brethren who have lost their loved ones, not of course from COVID-19, but because of different sicknesses in a time like this. But what is very challenging is the fact that we cannot freely minister to each other. We cannot freely comfort each other. But I, we want to say to you, brothers and sisters, that the Lord, our God, our fortress, our stay, and our prayers are with you. Be strong in the Lord. Be encouraged. Do not let this enemy push you in a corner. Know that Jehovah God, he is with you. He is your strength. He is your comforter. He is your, he is, he is your butler. And again, he is your stay in times like this. That is why I want to encourage us all family that as we journey on in this battle, please let us hold on to him. Let us trust in the Lord our God and know that we are not just trusting trusting in, the, in, in a God with a piece of wood or a piece of steel, but he is the creator of heaven and earth. And nothing is hidden from his sight. He knows and he sees the foundations of the earth. The earth is one planet. It's just one of the planets, one small planet, but God Almighty is the creator of it all. And I want to remind you that, that your father is in control. Your God is in control. In times like this, no matter how things turn out, Hold on to the Lord your God. Trust in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God. Pray and cry out to him in your fears, in your doubts. Cry out to him and he will hear you and he will answer you. And friends, I trust that this word brings some courage in your heart to know that we're not strong in our own strength. We're not forging on in our own personal and natural strength. No, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Let's put on the whole armor of God. In times like this I'm praying with you right now dear father in the name of Jesus of Nazareth I want to thank you for the body of Christ I want to thank you for the church of Jesus Christ I want to thank you for MTW family in a time and in a season like this my Lord and God we cry out to you like David and we say the Lord you are our refuge you are our fortress you are our strength our trust is in you our hope is in you our father in the name of Jesus thank you Lord God Almighty that in times like this when our enemies compass us about you are the Lord who hears prayer you are the Lord who hears our cry and I pray for your comfort I pray for your strength I pray for your spirit my Lord and God to strengthen each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus to be strong in prayer to be strong in faith to be strong in our relationship with you, Lord, for nothing can shake us in the name of Jesus Christ. 
the Son of the Living God. And Father, we stand again to pray for our government. We pray, Lord, for our president. We pray for our ministers. Lord, we pray for all the decision makers in our nation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, while we're fighting COVID-19, Lord God Almighty, Spirit of the Living God, intervene in their decision, in their decision making. Lead and guide them, our God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bind all forces of evil, all powers of darkness that seeks to sneak into the decisions that are made, that are taken in times like this and in times of crisis. My Lord and God, we pray and cover our government and cover our leaders in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the power of the Holy Spirit. We say, Holy Spirit, speak to them during the day. Speak to them during the night. Speak to them in their dreams like you did with uh, with, with the kings of old in the name of Jesus Christ. You did to Nebuchadnezzar. You did to Pilate. You did to them all. My Lord and God, speak Jehovah our God in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, as we continue fighting this battle, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for the protection of our doctors, the protection of our nurses, the protection of our health workers, the protection of those on, on essential services, the protection of those who went back to work. My Lord and God, we pray for the safety, for the protection of our people. We arrest this virus. We arrest this monster by the authority of the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. And Father, we bless you. Father, we honor you. We pray for those, our brothers and sisters, Lord, that have tested positive of this virus. And we say in the name of Jesus, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, you shall live and not die in the name of Jesus to declare the great works of God. We judge this virus. We arrest it by the name of Jesus. We say you don't have a right upon those bodies in Jesus' mighty name. And my Lord and God, we thank you. Our hope is in you, Jehovah God. Our trust is in you, our Father. And we thank you and we bless you. We know you have come through for us in the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. And every one of us saying, Amen. Friends, remember, as we continue fighting this battle, while you're staying at home, beloved, don't just be alone. Hold on to the living God. And make sure that you're washing your hands regularly with soap, using the sanitizer, use your mask as you go out, and use the social distance. Let's use these scientific proven methods to cap the spread of the virus. But at the very same time, let us be praying. Let us be trusting God. Let us be encouraging each other. Let us be standing in times of storms like this. God bless you. We trust that the Lord our God will strengthen you by his might and by his power. We love you with the love of the Lord. Thank you so very much. Thank you.